Hey everyone, welcome to day two of the 12 Days of Nostalgia and the second day of Pinball Week. As we played Rollerball yesterday, today we're playing Pinball Quest, which is a half pinball game, half RPG, which uh, was very unique. Even now, I think that's pretty darn unique. So we can play the, uh, the three other pinball games, three other pinball boards, I guess. Or we could just jump right into RPG mode, which is the meat and potatoes of the game, so let's do that. It's pinball with a story. A fantasy story. A princess gets kidnapped, like always. And I think the prince the king just got turned into a ghost. Alright, so the premise of this when you're not immediately losing is you have to hit certain things to proceed and you have to commit certain objectives on each uh, board and if you you know you succeed you move on if you drain you go back to the previous board while s some of the objectives will already be completed so you can just kinda go back up to the next board again uh, you know, it takes some time uh, to do so. I'm at the bottom, so when I drain, it just tells me, Hey, idiot, you want to try again? Alright, here we go. Looks like you're really on the ball. <laughs> I need your help to save the princess. The princess has been kidnapped and being held captive further north in the castle. Destroy the monsters that get in your way. Increase your attack strength. I am sorry I cannot give you more help. Alright, so there he goes. Alright, so, let me explain what's going on in the bottom left hand corner there. Where it says AT, that's your attack power. That'll go up as you, uh, as you do stuff. Like, kill skeletons. And the what looks like a little demon head. This is zero zero. Uh, when the boss of the board comes out, that'll be his hit points. So as you hit him, his hit points will go down based on, you know, your attack power. Wow. All right. <laughs> I'm. I'll, I admit, like I said in the last episode been a long time since I played any of these games, but trying to, you know, be entertaining while doing it is apparently just destroying my <laughs> my concentration. Oh, and uh, you have to push up and down to get the flippers to be in the right position. If you forget to do so, you will, you know, obviously drain. So you need to be on the ball. <laughs> mm. I will. I will, <laughs> I will say I'm usually not this bad. I know I say that often for pretty much every game, but it is the curse of the last player. I, I'll be honest with you. Everyone I know, when you're trying to, when you do a recording, when you're trying to entertain. Suddenly, you stink at games that you're supposed to be good at. And I'm not even good at this game, so I mean. This is embarrassing on many levels. Like, really? Uh, okay. There we go. Let's try to stay up there. See, like, that's. It's that bullshit right there. That always ticks me off. It's like, it doesn't even give you a chance to hit the flipper, it just immediately drains. Yeah, so what you need to do is you need to hit these skeletons enough times so that they stay down. And they stop shaking, like those two. You got a moving tree here, which is immediately a problem. And, I mean, you saw me hit the damn ball, but it went through for some reason. Or maybe I'm just making excuses, I don't know. There we go. 
Get up there. Alright, so all of them are shaking. We've got some evil colors, and now we have the boss. He has 18 hit points, and I have the attack power of, I guess, 3? Yeah, 3. So as I wreck him... And there we go. He is defeated. I'll just hold the ball in place here. As many skulls fly out. Now I need to grab the key. And I will automatically travel through the door. Onto the second board. But, in between each board is a shop. Where you can turn your... your, uh, your points there, your gold, into helpful items, like a stopper, a single stopper, which is one hit, floor stopper, which is a little bit better, the permanent stopper, which is, like it says, permanent, and the center stopper, which blocks the center, obviously. And you can also get uh, better, better flippers as well, too. The strong flippers, which are exactly what you would think they are, stronger flippers, and the Devil Flippers, which are even stronger, but sometimes they have the, uh, the the chance to kind of freeze up on you, and they suck when it does, so I usually don't use them. But as you go, if you're not going to purchase anything, always take time to try to steal. Because if it works, you get some cool items. If it doesn't, you limp your stupid face out of here. Alright. Boss is immediately out. Now with this one, what you need to do is you need to take out the, uh, the little machine on the bottom, on the top left there. Or top right, rather. Because she runs to it, the, the witch runs to it and heals herself every time. And I'm immediately drained. So I'm back here. Uh, stealing, if you don't pull it off, you it halves your gold, but I'm not really playing for keeps here, so I'm just going to try. Yeah, see how your gold goes in half? Alright, so what it does is it throws you stupidly back to the beginning, and now you need to go back and get that key again. But you don't have to kill the Skeleton King there this time. But I will say, uh, this, uh, this pinball game is actually quite rewarding and quite fun for its, uh, the new things that it does when you're not, you know, sucking completely at it. Like, that was really kind of a janky move there. Let's try this again. See that thing on the, the right there? The top right. You need to bust that down first. And now she tries to do some nonsense to your... to your uh, flippers there. Yeah, see, I can't... I can't get any <laughs> anywhere with this today. So yeah, if you do if you don't stink at pinball, like I am apparently doing, you'll uh you'll do pretty you'll have a lot of fun with that. So I'm gonna purposely lose there. And I'll sh I guess I'll show you some of the other levels. Uh circus is pretty fun. And there's just three different pinball games. Same thing, up and down. Ooh, three clowns. Let's get up there. 
Ooh, already at the bonus stage. Nice. This is, you gotta hit the... I don't know. The lions. While not being hit yourself. But if you hit the girl, I think she, like, just comes after you. Oh, got nailed by the lion. Oh, I forgot to pull my ball out. Immediately drained. But yeah, just some fun pinball games. There we go. Come on. Oh, going up again. If I can get up there. I used to have to fight tooth and nail to get to this bonus stage. I'm gonna try to nail her, see how it happens. Nope. I can take that cat. Snake. Oh. Got killed. Alright, apparently I'm going that way. Ugh. Come on. At least I got the extra extra ball going. Yeah, it's not the most smooth of pinball games, by the way. I will say that. Sometimes the I guess the physics don't work <laughs> too well. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, this is the circus one. I guess I will lose purposely just to show you one more before we go. Oh god. We'll do uh, we'll do pop pop. This is the one that, uh, uh, Circus was the one that my father was really good at. Uh, Pop Pop was the one that I played, but obviously can't do right now. We should just rename this, uh, Look Light's Terrible at Pinball. <laughs> this little thing. Oh yeah. Oh no. I might be here for a while. Yeah, we 
This, I think this one was the... It was either this one or Rollerball that we played the least, but I'm pretty sure we played this one a crap ton, too. I mean, they're all fun little pinball games, but... Now that I play it now, the, uh... I remember the physics being so... so janky. So really stink at that too. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. I think that'll do it for this one. Uh, on the next one, which is tomorrow, uh, my favorite of the three pinball games. My absolute favorite, because it was actually a quite, uh, quite popular pinball uh, game back in you know, before video games were a thing. Like, it was a, an old pinball machine that they turned into a game, and uh, is one of my absolute favorites, and I'm probably still gonna stink at it. But, it'll be fun to try nonetheless, so... Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, so I guess I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, for some more pinball. And uh, the next week will actually be Military Week. So we're gonna play a few military-style games. Uh, next Friday, next Saturday, and next Sunday. So I hope you join me for that as we're doing the 12 days of nostalgia all month this month, this December. So I hope you join me. My name is Lucklight. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.